David Allen Greer. Now, Edwin, I got to tell you this right off the top. Normally, reality TV really is not my thing, but I am loving your show, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> Now, congratulations on your success. Oh, I was blessed with this miracle. I, I'm just a vessel through which God has chosen to put on the air a show that has doubled its viewership in the key demographics, 18 to 54. Amen. Yeah. Sounds like God knows a whole lot about the entertainment business. Oh, he has the ultimate Nielsen box. Yo, you are blessed. <laughs> yes, I truly am. Okay, well, Edwin. Take me to church and tell me how did you come up with this show? I'll take you to church, but I'm gonna take you around the back way. Okay. Now, I looked across the TV landscape and I asked myself, what would view? And the answer was, America's next top black preacher. Oh. Yeah. Well, Edwin, before we join in prayer, let's take a look. Everybody's watching BET's number one show, America's Next Top Black Preacher, where ordinary people preach for our judges. Reverend Donald Wigglesworth. You're going to heaven. Deacon Patricia Chambliss. You are truly blessed. And the incorrigible <laughs> Father Wayne Stevens. You're going to hell. Together they render their verdicts. I wish God would show you the way to a proper wig shop. Each week we visit another part of the country and hopeful strut their stuff, hoping for a slot at the ultimate pool pit. God, God damn it! You need to put those snakes on a plane and fly the hell out of here. God has ordained this a hit. Can I get a yodel for the Lord? You're like, mm -hmm. I believe somebody took a wrong turn. America's next top white preacher is down the hallway. A miracle, says the Dallas Star. Oh, the Lord is good, hallelujah. I think the one question we all have here on the dais is what's under that robe? <laughs> on the seventh day, <laughs> created this show. That everything that you so ever desire. I like your shoes, and I like your tie, pocket square, thumbs down. Feel the spirit. He has sent me here with the word, and he wants me to let you know. Let me critique you in a language I think you'll understand. I've been to your church, the United Church of Tourette's. I saw this show and said it was great. You don't need to have mobile to mobile to call Jesus. You don't have to be in his day five. You don't have to say, can you hear me now, can you hear me now, can you hear me now? Every summer, me and my, my boys do a Christian intramural boys, like, camp, camp out. One chaperone, this one, and uh, we do some, you know, there's clothing optional kayaking, there's lots of foot races and wrestling and such, so it'd be great if you could join us and I'll give you my cell phone number. Feel the spirit, Sunday night city. This competition has finally begun. <laughs> I tell you, brother, I love the show. And your ratings are higher than American Idol. <laughs> it's gotta feel great. What's next for you? Two and a half priests. Also, CSI Exorcism and the Holy Ghost Whisperer. Oh. David 